Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Today's Battle Royale is going to be a little game I like to call The Last Sauropod Standing. Now here's how the game works. I've released all of the sauropods that are in the game so far, such as Mementisaurus, Dreadnoughtus, Ankylodicus, Apatosaurus, Camarasaurus, Brachiosaurus, and yes, of course, Little Nigersaurus. And now, I am about to release an Indominus Rex into the enclosure to kill off the sauropods. And the, basically, the last remaining sauropod wins this tournament. So the sauropod that can survive the Indominus Rex the longest wins the game. So, who do you think's gonna win? Let me know in the comment section down below. And without further ado, let us begin the tournament. Let's release the Indominus. I picked Indominus because he's the only one that can attack sauropods other than Nigersaurus. So, this should be interesting. He's ready to go in there. Now, may the best sauropod win. Okay, so the sauropods are stu aren't aware that the Indominus is around. Oh, hold on. I think the Indominus is just, uh... He's charging in, charging towards the sauropods. Okay, he hasn't killed anybody yet. So, seems to be going that way, so the Nigersaurus should be safer right now. I don't think the little Nigersaurus is going to make it, wherever he is. Um, oh, there he is. He's hiding in the bushes. Right there, hiding in the trees. He's, uh, I wonder who he's going after first. Um, oh, I think he's going to do something. Oh, I think Diplodocus might be his first victim. Looks like it's over for the Diplodocus. Diplodocus has been eliminated. In you know, the last battle royale he was in, he was the first sauropod to die. And that is sauropod dead. Oh, um, I did not mean to do that. Hold on. Oh, I Alright, so the Indominus was waiting for the Apatosaurus. So the Apatosaurus has become its next victim. And just like that, the Apatosaurus has been eliminated. And it has fallen victim to the Indominus Rex. Nigersaurus. Run! He's literally right next to the Indominus Rex. I have a feeling. Oh my god. I kind of want the Nigersaurus to win because he has managed to outlive two of the sauropods. But I don't know. The way this is going, he might be next. Nigersaurus is lining himself up. Watch one of the coolest death scenes ever. Here it comes. Oh no! Ah, ooh. Oh god! And Nigersaurus has been brought down. <sighs> Making him the third casualty. 
Hadrosaurus has been eliminated. Who do we have left? Brachiosaurus, Mementisaurus, Dreadnoughtus, Ankylonicus, and Camarasaurus. They're all grouped together. Maybe if they stay in a group, they have a better chance of survival, but I don't know. I think the Indominus is just going to pick them off one by one. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, I think, I think the Brachiosaurus just positioned itself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brachiosaurus is the next victim. And just like that, Brachiosaurus has been eliminated from the game. And the Indominus just claimed his next victim. Marasaurus and Ankylonicus. There are only three sauropods left. Who will outlive each other? Let's find out when the Indominus kills someone else. I guess. Yep. yep, there he goes. There he goes. Ankylonicus is unfortunately the next victim. Now there's only two left, Mementosaurus and Camarasaurus. Of the two sauropods, who do you think will win? Poor Ankylonicus. Well, he made it in the top three. That's an accomplishment in my book. Congratulations, Ankylonicus, you just won the bronze medal. Looks like we have a winner, and it's not Camarasaurus. I'm sorry, Camarasaurus. You won the silver medal, but you didn't quite make it. I'm sorry, Camarasaurus. And with that, we have a winner! No problem. Mementisaurus is our winner! How do you feel? You just won the gold medal. You feel good about yourself? I'm glad you did. Giraffe looking SOB. Alright. gonna have to wrap up today's video um i hope you enjoyed it if you did feel free to leave a like subscribe for more and until next time i'll see you in the next one